Hello everyone and welcome once again to Caleb Likes Books. Today I've got a book review for you, my very first book review of the year, and that is for a book that uh, I'm a little late to reviewing because I actually read this one a few weeks ago, but uh, today I'm going to be talking about the very first published Assassin's Creed tie-in novel, which is Assassin's Creed Renaissance by Oliver Bowden. So for those of you who maybe are not super familiar with the Assassin's Creed video game series, it is a long-running series that has been around since 2007. I've played a number of the games, um, not all of them yet, um, but I've played I think over half of the games at this point. Um, this particular novel uh, was the first one that came out in conjunction with Assassin's Creed 2. Um, it is based on that video game, uh, which is the first in the Ezio trilogy, which follows uh, Ezio Adore, uh, the protagonist. Uh, he gets three games. There are three novels based on him. Um, and this was the first one that was done. So getting into things first with some positives. First of all, the uh, story itself is decently interesting. I think that it's better done in the video game, but I'll talk about that when I get to negatives. But it's a decently enjoyable story. Ezio is a good protagonist. There are plenty of good supporting characters in here um, that are fun to read. I also think it does a very good job of adapting the video game. Um, it, I think, kind of feels a little too video gamey in some pl uh, places, which I'll talk about when I get to negatives. But as far as if you want to see this story and check it out and kind of experience the story for yourself, but you're not necessarily into games, I think this is a pretty decent way to experience it. Um, it's a good adaptation. It covers all of the events very well and all that stuff. And I actually had replayed Assassin's Creed 2 shortly before reading this, so it was pretty fresh in my mind. So it was interesting to see how it adapted that story. And another thing I liked about this book, which at first I was thinking might be a negative before I had actually read it, was the length. Um, this is not by any means a super long book, but it's a decently lengthy book. It's like 500 and some pages, um, which at first I was thinking that feels like it's too long for a video game adaptation. Um, and I thought it was going to feel kind of long and drawn out. But it actually works pretty well. Everything gets, I think, a decent enough amount of time. Uh, the pacing doesn't move along, like, super slowly or anything. It's actually a decently paced book. It kind of goes along pretty well. Um, so that's another positive. And in general, it was just a decent read. Um, not necessarily the greatest book that I have ever read or anything, but for video game adaptations... Um, as, as well as just in general uh, reading it. It was a good experience. Now, in terms of negatives for this book, uh, the main thing comes down to it being a video game adaptation. Uh, now, this felt very video gamey, uh, which, depending on your taste, maybe that'll be a good thing. Maybe it won't be a good thing. For me, um, it's something that I expected, considering it's a video game adaptation, but it does have very much that kind of uh, you know, you can kind of see where the missions come from in the video game that you have to play through. You can see how all of that kind of thing comes together. And, you know, you have the different things that Ezio has to do uh, kind of one after another after another. It's not really kind of a regular plot progression that you would get in just a normal novel. It does feel very video gamey, uh, which didn't really bother me, considering that's kind of obvious, but it was at times a little distracting for me, I think. And the other thing is that while I did say that I thought that the story and the characters and stuff were all pretty good in this, I do think that they work a lot better in the context of a game. Um, of course, this being a book review, I'm not going to focus too much on that because that kind of gets away from this being its own book. But I think that the story and the characters do work better in the video game than they do in the book. Um, probably part of that is because you're actually involved in it. Um, but in general, um, even though I do really enjoy the story of the game, having now read this, I don't think it works as well as a novel. But that's pretty much all the big points that I have to say about this. This is probably going to be a pretty short review. Um, but in general, this was a decent read. Um, if you are interested in Assassin's Creed at all, but you're not really into the video games, but you are interested in reading the novels, I think this is a decent option for you. Um, as long as you just expect it to be 
exactly what it says it is, that being a video game adaptation. As far as a rating out of 10 for this one, I would probably give it like a 6.5 out of 10. It was a decent read, it wasn't incredible or anything, and uh, maybe part of that was due to the fact that I already kind of knew everything going in, especially considering I had just replayed the video game this is based on, um, so maybe that had something to do with it, but overall, it was just an okay read for me. I would recommend checking it out if you're interested in Assassin's Creed, um, whether you're already a fan of the games or whether you're someone who is not into the games but you're interested in the story. Um, I would recommend checking it out, but I just wouldn't uh, say to have your expectations super high or anything. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this review. I know it's quite short, but really there wasn't a whole lot for me to say about this book, to be completely honest with you. Um, it's just a decent book, nothing really more than that. So let me know down in the comments uh, what you think of this book if you have read it. Um, this is the second of the Assassin's Creed books that I have read, the other one being Se The Secret Crusade, which I have a review of on my channel, so you can check that out, out if you want. So let me know in the comments if you happen to have read more of the Assassin's Creed novels, how you think this one compares to all the others. Um, I liked this one a bit less than The Secret Crusade, personally, um, but let me know how you think it compares to the others. And that is pretty much it for this video, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.